excited about our next guest. He is one of Hollywood's brightest talents, Academy Award winner Aaron Sorkin. The writer and director is best known for blockbuster films like A Few Good Men and hit TV shows like The West Wing and The Newsroom. His highly anticipated new movie, Being the Ricardos, is a dramatic look behind the scenes of the CBS show I Love Lucy, starring Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, of course. Lucy and Desi are played by Nicole Kidman and Javier Bardem. In this clip, Lucy admits to registering to vote as a communist earlier in her life after being called out during a time of growing fear about communism. Watch. I didn't check the wrong box. You saw the headline. You can see the headline from outer space. Then please. Grandpa Fred raised me for when I was age four. He cared about the little guy. He cared about workers' rights. It was a tribute to him. And to say that I checked Grandpa the Fred, wrong. Grandpa Fred, Grandpa Fred, Grandpa Fred was wrong, Lucy. Yes, he didn't tell you the part where they throw your father in prison for the crime of being the mayor of a city. I was chased to this country, Lucy. Believe me, you checked the wrong box. First on CBS Mornings, Aaron Sorkin joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. So we were talking about this movie. We loved it. Thank you. I love your work. I told you backstage I love your work. I love Nicole Kidman's work. I love Javier Bardem. I'm a huge I Love Lucy fan. When I heard about your casting decision, I was a little concerned. <laughs> I gotta say, like a lot of fans, you probably heard this, Keep right? Keep it real, Vlad. Right, I'm keeping it real. But wow, they embody these characters yes. like nothing I've ever seen. They do. Um, and uh, you were at a disadvantage because uh, I'd read the script and you had it. <laughs> uh, the, the, the role isn't Lucy Ricardo and Ricky Ricardo. It's, it's Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Uh, and they are entirely different people from, from Lucy and Ricky. Yeah, I love an untold story. And not only did you do a really great job of telling a story, but you got the green light from their children. Mm. So what surprised you about this? What, what will surprise the audience? Yeah, well, Lucy Arnaz, as you said, has been uh, incredibly supportive. And during the period when I was kind of, you know, I'd been asked if I wanted to write a movie about Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, and it took me about 18 months to, to get to a yes. It's a, it's a big commitment, so it takes me a while to say yes. But during that period, Lucy Arnaz kind of took me aside and quietly said to me, listen, my mother was not an easy woman. Take the gloves off. Mm. Um, wow. And I thought that that invitation, wow. it was interesting to me. Now, one of the central storylines is how women navigated show business at the time, yep. even diving into her being pregnant and not being able to work. Talk a little bit more about that. That's right. Uh, uh, Lucy was the most powerful person in television, yeah. though she couldn't really exercise that power uh, because, as she says at one point in the film, she navigates male egos for a living. Uh, it was also uh, this uh, uh, a fracture uh, in her relationship with Desi. They were deeply in love with each other, passionately in love with each other. Uh, but Desi comes from a culture that has a very narrow definition of manhood and where manhood is very important. Mm. And so as much as he loved Lucy, as much as he really admired and, and respected her talent, uh, it was difficult for him to be a second banana to anyone. What I really appreciated was your ability to tell Desi's story, because he was yeah. largely overlooked in his contribution, not only to his family, but to the business of Desi Lu. No doubt about it. I, I think that anyone in the last 60 years who has done a half hour comedy on television, walking in the footprints that, uh, uh, that Desi made. Technically and storyline wise. Uh, and I, I, absolutely, the, the, uh, Desi was the one who came up with the multi-camera system uh, for half-hour television, wow. uh, which I, I, I won't bore your viewers with <laughs> how Amazing. important no, that is. It's important is, but, because yeah. it, be, it set the tone for every television series that followed. I That's mean, right. They were pioneers. And not only were they pioneers in, in television production, I think what you also do, Aaron, is you really highlight this incredible love story mm. that they had. I, I saw video that Lucille Arnaz posted years ago um, of Desi and Lucy in a pool with their grandchildren. They were long divorced, but they, were, they had a <clears throat> connection that lasted even they, after they separated. They, they loved each other till the, till the day they died. Uh, and, you know, one of the things about the film is that it's heartbreaking that yes. these two can't get it together mm -hmm. uh, uh, to have that marriage. 
uh, and they both remarried. But interestingly, uh, Desi remarried Lucy's stand-in. Um, Which is incredible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has a type. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what are some of your favorite memories of I Love Lucy? I mean, Vlad said it. We are all huge yes. fans of the show. It's one of those shows that just, it crossed generations. Yes. But what about for you? It did. You know, for me, uh, I, I can remember, you know, being homesick from school. Yep. And in the mornings, <laughs> I think there were four I Love Lucy episodes in a row. Yes. Uh, and I'd go through them. And I, like most people, I love the physical comedy. So, yeah. obviously, the Chocolate Factory. And uh, we do, uh, we, we show, and I just want to be really clear on this. The movie is not I Love Lucy. Yes. Uh, it takes place during one production week of I Love Lucy, Monday table read to Friday audience taping. Uh, and we see uh, shards of I Love Lucy throughout right. because we're going into Lucy's mind. mind. We yeah. can see that she's kind of a comedic chess master. Yes. Uh, and, you know, when they're at the table read, when she's hearing a pitch in the writer's room, when they're rehearsing, uh, she can see a joke on the page and visualize what it's going to be like in front of the audience on Friday, whether it's going to work yeah. uh, or not. Um, uh, and in... In those shards of I Love Lucy, we see a moment or two of the famous grape stomping scene. Yeah, yes. we, we love I Love Lucy because of the smiles and the laughs. This movie pulls back the curtain. Yes, it And does. dives into their lives. Well done. It's really Thank great. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Appreciate so, you. Being the Ricardos hits theaters on December 10th.